Baldur's Gate is an amazing game. The characters are endearing, interesting, and exciting. The story is compelling. The world is vast, begging to be explored. There's action, comedy, drama, and romance. However, there is one lethal issue with the game. You can't change your character's appearance after the character creation menu. What a horrible, unforgiving oversight in a game that is otherwise basically perfect. You can change your class with withers. You can dye your underwear, but you can't put on different eyeshadow without restarting the entire game? Unacceptable. Fortunately, not all hope is lost. With the power of mods, all things are possible. Now, obviously, this is only going to work for PC. I don't know how to help you if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, but I do appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for the view. So without further ado, let's go ahead and install the Appearance Mod. First things first, for safety's sake, make sure you load the game and create a save just in case things go horribly wrong you have something to fall back onto. Before we install the mod, let's go over the known issues real quick. They're kind of important. You're going to have to edit your character's appearance from scratch every single time. There's nothing I can do about this, sorry. And by uh, I, I definitely mean the mod creator, Aeroline. Thank you for the wonderful mod, by the way. Appreciate you. Editing a character from scratch might break things related to Oathbreaker Paladins. Modmaker hasn't done extensive testing in that regard. Your tadpole powers will be reset, but you get the tadpoles back. Just re-add the powers manually. Be sure to add the tadpoles back before you re-sculpt again. If you have a hexblade bound weapon or similar, unbind it and store it somewhere before respecking. You might lose some permanent status effects, passives, or spells that you've obtained throughout your adventure. I've made sure to check for the most common ones to fix them, but I haven't done 50 playthroughs of the game. I can't test everything. If you find something missing, let me know, Modmaker, and I'll fix it. Modmaker has no clue as to the effects of this in a long playthrough. They've done many tests, had hours of playtime after doing this, but cannot catch everything. If you notice any issue, please let them know. And this is in bold, so it must be important. If you have not received the artifact from Shadowheart yet in Act 1 Goblin Camp, when you re-sculpt, make sure she is in your party. Do not dismiss her. You will lose all learned spells when you sculpt spells Wizard learned. Duplicates of characters will appear in the Inspiration tab. It shouldn't affect anything other than visual. Characters in Wither's Wardrobe will die. Now, you're also able to edit origin characters and hirelings. However, I'm not going to do that because re-sculpting from scratch sounds awful. I'm not sure if that applies here. I'm not even going to read this because I don't really want to change anybody else's appearance. I'm only doing this because I don't like my character's eyeshadow. Yes, it's a big deal to me. She always looks like she has black eyes for no reason. All right, we're going to do like three things to make this work, but it shouldn't be that difficult. Just follow my instructions and the link down below. Now, first, thing, first things first, we have to log in to Nexus Mods in order to download files, so go ahead and do that. Once you're in, go ahead and download the latest version of Vortex Mod Manager. The download link should be right here. This should be fine. Go ahead and click all the download stuff. Uh, I'm not a premium user, so we're going to go ahead and slow download. We have to wait. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and run the executable. You might have to fish around in your downloads in order to find the executable. Mine popped up on the download tab on Chrome. Now we just go ahead and click all the buttons to do all the things. That didn't take too long, about 30 seconds. Go ahead and click finish. It should run Vortex automatically. And then we can move on to other other matters. Once Vortex opens, you're going to need to log in again. Go ahead and click Authorize. And as long as you're logged in on the browser, it should work. Now, once you're in here, we can move on to step two. You're going to need the Script Extender Launcher. Go ahead and click the download link. It's a zip file, so you might need a unzipper. It doesn't appear so right now. We're going to hit Extract All on the top, and we're going to copy this path into the directory go ahead and extract i'm going to leave that on so it pops up right away boom boom should be in there and that should be all we have to do for that now we're going to go to the actual mod the appearance mod and now now that you have vortex installed go ahead and click this little button right here right next to manual uh this is a little joke i i appreciate this joke that's very it's very haha -ha funny jokes on you we don't need to read because i'm making a video ha ah, go ahead and click vortex and you've already got the script extender in there, go ahead and click download. Now this will go automatically go to your Vortex Mod Manager as soon as you click that. And hopefully we're not going to have any issues. Vortex pops up, it's doing stuff, go ahead and do that, boom boom, it does everything automatically. Just go ahead and click deploy mods, it's going to do stuff, and hopefully we should be good. Let's go ahead and launch the game. Okay, the mod wasn't working, but this just popped up in Vortex. So we're going to go ahead and download that, see if it helps anything. Uh, oh, is there what? What on earth? What do you mean it was already installed? Why, why are you yelling at me if it was already installed? Okay, 
No, that wasn't in there before. So I deploy that. And we'll see if anything broke, broke this time. Ooh, spooky, spooky warnings! Alright, well nothing appears to be broken. That's fantastic. We love not breaking stuff, don't we? A gym is disabled. Well, it's not fun now, is it? Okay, well, another downside, I guess. Oh, I think we've done it, baby. I think it was that Ellis Lids thing that was uh, that was messing this up. So, also, make sure you install that. One click. There you go. Okay, crouch. <gasps> Resculpt! There it is! You gotta, you gotta crouch or the resculpt thing won't show up. I'm gonna do Marjorie. Let's go, baby. Enable tutorial. What? Yeah, that's a bit spooky now, isn't it? We don't like that. And we're all the way reset. All right. Well, I didn't want to completely rebuild her, but it is a limitation of the mod. But you know, that's that's fine. This is uh, this is better than the game developers have given us. Let me go ahead and work on this real quick. And here we go, Marjorie's back, and she's looking better than ever. I don't think I had it spelled this way last time, but according to Google, that's what it's supposed to be spelled. So here we go. All done. What do I? Uh, oh, that's the Guardian. Oh! I forgot about that. Okay, hold on a second here. I forgot. I forgot you made your own guardian. Okay, venture forth. Let's go, baby. And uh, if everything went according to plan, we should. We're. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, what is this? Oh. Are we good? Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Die. Ah, yeah. Dismiss it. What the hell? Your friends have to remain in your party while offline. What do you mean, dude? Oh, this is my old soul here. Oh. Oh, sick. Free loot. Hell yeah. Hey, free loot glitch. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. level up. All right, we're getting back to where we need to be, baby. By the way, I keep looking over here because that's my main screen. Because this thing is a bit laggy on my secondary screen. All right, is everything kind of the way we had it? I'm pretty sure. Let me grab a side by side real quick, real quick. All right, I don't see any negative effects here. I got everything back the same. All our no gear was lost, it looks like. The only thing I forgot that I had her as a criminal instead of a, a folk hero. I should have probably wrote all this down before I uh, already did all that, but it's fine. We'll be we'll be big hero. So yeah, this is a lot of trouble to go through for some eyeshadow, but I, I really like it. I'm, I'm kind of digging the new hair as well. Uh, maybe I could have made her hair a little bit bluer. As a matter of fact, I think I'll go back and change that right now. But, uh, yeah, that's the mod. Appreciate the mod maker for making such a fantastic mod. Hopefully, the devs put something in game that uh, so we won't have to do all this but for right now this is what we got and i appreciate you guys for watching if you liked the video please make sure to spartacate that subscribe button and check out my baldur's gate let's play thanks again for watching i'll see you in game